News now. Every year, tens of thousands of Americans die from infections that they pick up at hospitals. But there are times when you have to go to the hospital. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here now to tell us how to protect yourself and your loved ones on your next visit. Doc. Well, you know, the ironic part is the hospital is a place where you go to get better, but where you can also get much sicker if you happen to pick up an infection there. And the germs you find in a hospital, those are the real bad guys because they've survived all of the disinfection a hospital does. Here's how you can protect yourself. Heather Brighton had a knee replacement in 2013. Two days later, she knew something was terribly wrong. I started to have bouts and attacks of diarrhea, and it just wasn't going. I was, on, I was in the bathroom every two minutes. She picked up a life-threatening intestinal infection called C. diff while recovering in the hospital. You're not eating, you're dehydrated, and you're just losing tremendous amounts of weight. It's estimated one in 25 patients contract an infection from the hospital, and tens of thousands die every year from those infections. Betsy McCoy founded the Committee to Reduce Infection Deaths. She says patients need to be proactive to protect themselves. Most importantly, make sure everyone, visitors, doctors, nurses, techs, wash their hands, before coming near you. It's hard to do. Patients are intimidated by those white coats and those nurses' uniforms, but you could be saving your life by asking them to do that. Bring a canister of bleach wipes. Research shows wiping down surfaces around the hospital bed can reduce some infections by as much as 80%. Pull them out and wipe the high-touch surfaces. By that I mean the bed rails, the over-the-bed table, the call button, the television clicker. Another ignored potential infection spreader, the stethoscope. Several studies have found them to be loaded with germs, even when doctors and nurses wipe them between patients. That's led a company called StethGuard to develop a disposable sleeve for stethoscopes, sort of like medical personnel using gloves even after washing their hands. I think hospitals try to make an effort about keeping their hospitals as sterile as possible. I think more needs to be done. Now, other steps that patients can take, do a little research and try to choose a hospital and surgeon with low infection rates and days before surgery, bathe with chlorhexidine soap, which can remove harmful bacteria you might be carrying on your skin. And by the way, surprisingly, your skin is actually the source of a lot of the germs that end up leading to surgical infections. That's why they scrub you down and make sure that the plastic... Where do we get this works. soap? Uh, it, that actually, that used to be Pfizer-Hex many years ago. You oh, buy yeah. it over the counter. Oh, okay. Now you've got to get a prescription okay. for it. Those infections are nasty. Oh, they can. I've had a couple can, family members with it. They Ooh. can be really awful and, and life-threatening, obviously. Yeah. So, uh, you Thank be you, Dr. Max. You bet. All right.